But you can see once I do, there's nothing here. If you make it through the first hole, there's nothing outside here. Now, one of the cool things about this play too is if you don't want to, you don't have to follow the pattern. If I want to, just go ahead and run this right up in the lane and then boom, there's nothing even out here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. What? Then stop. Ah. Just stop and let them keep spinning, baby. I'm right spinners. I'm right spinners. They don't stop. Just stop and let them keep spinning, baby. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's always got another offense for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a very glitchy offense in one of my favorite offensive playbooks, the Baltimore Ravens. You're going to need a mobile quarterback to run this efficiently, but based off the fact that you're running with the quarterback, you really get one of the best blocking advantages you can get out of any run play in the game, and I'm going to show you guys that today. But I'm not just going to show you the run plays. I'm going to show you guys the full offense. Run plays, passing plays. I'm going to give you guys an entire offense today. Now, the offense I'm going to show you guys today is out of the gun split twins. This formation might look familiar. I made a couple plays out of it last year when it was called the Heisman. Last year, though, it was really weird. You had three Heisman uh, players in the backfield, where this year you actually get running backs next to the quarterback. So it's much more traditional formation. And it's got a lot more plays this year. I mean, last year it only had like two or three. This formation got a lot better. They had a lot more passing plays, a lot more run plays. And now you can really run it like a traditional offense. But the play that I'm making this video about, and the play to me that's probably the most overpowered in this formation, is the power read. I used this in my trick play video yesterday, and it was so good. I've been using it since. I was like, man, I got to make a video just dedicated to this. And I got to build an offense around it. So if you guys want to see more videos out of this offense or maybe a gameplay with this particular offense, because that's kind of what I'm plotting on doing, because I've been using it a lot. It's really fun. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the audibles. Now, like I said, the power read is the main play. You see I average over 13 yards of carry with this run. But the three main plays that I'm going to use the most are going to be the power read, the shovel option, which I just mentioned. Like I said, I put something out from this similarly last year. And probably the hatback slip screen, the PAF slide. Now, there's a very glitchy play in this formation as well. This route here is essentially a one-play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game if you set this up correctly. So if you guys want to see some one-play touchdowns from this scheme, hit the like button let me know in the comment section, and I can put out some one-play touchdowns from this formation tomorrow or Friday. There's no real run play going in the opposite direction. All the run plays are kind of going to the right. So passing is pretty much the only option. That's why the PF slide is going to be important. So these are going to be the four plays. If I were to pick a fifth play, I like the post halfback corner. That's a really good play when it comes to man coverage especially. So we'll just pick that. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. It's really about these two plays. The power read is an inside run, even though in the diagram, it looks like you can go outside with the running back. I'll show you what happens when you do that. It never really works out. To me, every time I run the power read, I am keeping it with the quarterback. That's the whole purpose of this play, is when you do that, you typically, um, you know, like see, he gets tackled pretty much every time. So it looks like a broken play but the fact that the run gets shut down every single time actually is a huge benefit to this play because i'm going to use that running back as my lead blocker basically just let that running back get tackled by the first uh guy that comes in free every single time so let's go and let's let him Psych. uh you know take himself out of the play and you can see if i just let everything develop i just have a huge hole so i don't know if you guys noticed what happened there but ultimately once this play developed and once i chose to keep it with the uh the quarterback there is nothing down the field. There is nobody on this side of the field. And that's what makes this play so successful. Anytime you run a play with a running back, you typically only have nine blockers because you're running the ball with yourself and the quarterback's doing nothing. So it's really nine on 11. When you run it with your quarterback, now you have a lead blocker in your running back and basically everybody on your team is doing something on the play. So we're going to do that a couple of times. Like I said, there is a read for the shovel option and the half black slip screen and all these other plays. But with the power read, it just feels like you're running against just about anything. I can't Psych. say that there's really a look 
or uh, you know anything that I, I mean, it's just it's just such a good run play. I mean, obviously the better the play is going to be based off how fast Lamar Jackson is. I mean, you just have to look at this blocking. This blocking is incredible. That's what makes this play so good. Number one, the running back gets tackled. He always gets tackled. So the first guy that they let come in free always gets taken out of the play right away. Then you can see, I mean, I got a double team and I just got huge lanes all over the place. I would say the best way to stop this play would probably be to blitz it heavy. Like right here, we have a double safety blitz. That brings me to my next play, which can either be the shovel option or the slip screen. I would say if somebody does blitz this play heavy, the slip screen makes the most sense because the slip screen typically, you know, screens are best used against blitzes, heavy blitzes. Although there, he did catch me. But ultimately, the slip screen is going to have the most success if somebody decides to blitz this formation. So if you see that your opponent starts sending a lot of blitzes, like this could be a blitz here too. The safe comes down to the box. Um, I could basically just hit him with, hit him with this slip screen. The only thing about it is it takes a little bit of time for it to develop and slip screens are always rough when it comes to blitzes because they can get knocked off and, and bumped out of their route. Now the thing about the slip screen is you also have a really good option on the right side which as long as it's not a man coverage this RB route will typically get open as long as it's not a man coverage or a uh, hard flat. A card, any hard flat will typically be on that table route as well. But that's a really good option. Now the second best run play though for sure is definitely the shovel option. This play here you really have two options. You're going to have your left bumper and your right bumper. You're running back on your left you'll hit the left bumper you're running back on the right you hit the right bumper it's really that simple or you can actually keep with the quarterback too although i don't typically find that's the way you don't quite get the pitch animations that i've gotten in some other plays like that's one of the few issues when it comes to the shovel option is a lot of times i'm expecting to be able to get that pitch animation and i haven't been getting it uh when it comes to this so you really have to get this ball out a lot sooner at you know where in some other plays you can actually wait till you're running your quarterback's getting tackled where in some other plays, you can actually wait for your quarterback to essentially get tackled before you end the pitch out. This is not one of those plays. So it would have been better if you could, but ultimately this is still a really good play. Like I said, you just have to get that ball out quick and basically just sprint away from the uh, the defense as much as you can. But you can see even there, like I was, you know, that was not a good pitch. I got the bad pitch animation where essentially the running back like stops to catch it. And I don't know if it does this because, you know, I mean, he's just, this is not how you want him. You don't want him catching the ball in this posture, like he's down the field just catching a pass. Like, like an actual receiver you want him catching the ball in stride so I got the bad animation but I still am like five yards away from anybody and got nothing but space to the sideline it's a really good play I don't really think pitching it inside is ever a really good move I think that's a good way to get a fumble um, but it is an option if you see something if you see a lot of space inside pre-snap you might want to do that but ultimately to me this play is all about getting outside and just you know using whoever your fastest running back is to get the ball up the field as you can see if you do it correctly it's a very easy play now one of the cool things about this play too is if you don't want to you don't have to follow the pattern you can basically break off and do whatever you want uh if you feel like it's you know you can treat it like a blast or like a power run if you have big you know gaps in front of you the fact that you can basically run this play inside uh, it probably makes it better than the uh, the inside option because I don't really have blocking there that I like. So like I said, if I want to, just go ahead and run this right up in the lane and then boom, there's nothing even out here. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this could be a really good play on its own, even without the pitch. Uh, and I like that. I like the fact that it doesn't have you on rails. It lets you do whatever you want. And based off the fact that I was saying you don't really have a good running option to the left, this might be the best one because you can go wherever you want. So if you see your opponent over shifting to the right side or something like that, you could always take this play and run it around to the left so if you see your defense over shifted like this where you have you know basically the entire defense i said earlier i might have spoke too soon you don't really have a run play to the left well i guess you do in the shovel option since you can pretty much do whatever you want and just basically use lamar jackson's speed uh, and get to the edge and have big plays you need a good quarterback you need a fast quarterback to run this offense now when it comes to pass plays typically all the pass plays are going to be the left side which is going to be something that's going to catch your opponent off guard as well the paf slide uh, is a really good play this here you got two routes one i'm really only looking at two i guess i mean there are some one play touchdowns but i'll probably just have that on my patreon my join now community tab uh, but as far as the pass plays go i mean you really just were playing andrews versus dobbins that's really my only look you got a high low route they're pretty close to one another and you pretty much just choose now there i probably should have waited for the deeper route the deeper route is probably the option but we'll go and we'll do that again. So let's go ahead and let's run this. Like I said, I don't really look at too many other routes on this play. Like I said, this year, I'm pretty much just going, you know, Andrews is going to be the read nine times out of 10. He beats man, he beats zone. That's pretty much why, where the running back only beats zone. So that's why I'm pretty much looking at Andrews the whole way. Uh, as you can do again right here, like I said, that oh, the rest of these guys really just pull back coverage and he's pretty much always going to be the option. Well, the running back was open too. That's the thing about this place. Pretty much both of these players are going to be open. Sometimes you're going to want to keep an eye on the other side, but ultimately I find that, you know, this is 
is not my favorite play. It's something that you might have to do if your opponent starts catching on and trying to jump the routes going in the other direction. But ultimately, you know, I don't find that or walk-ins are really great plays uh, when it comes to how this play is set up here. That must have been a crazy man blitz because Andrews was wide open. You can sacrifice Andrews though and make a big play out of the B route. This is a really good route combo because ultimately this here um, will pull all the coverages back and then you can basically just catch a, you know, a really deep ball over the top. Now that's about a 35 to 40 yard depth, which is why this is a concept that a lot of pro players are using because you can't set your zone drops back that far. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more out of this formation and more out of this playbook, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.